Hey everybody, welcome all. Welcome back to Cumland. Uh, it's a good day for Cumland, much like many other days here. Good news for today, a lot of good news. It's a completely clean slate with my advisors. After hearing about just what kind of a mess was going on downstairs, I, I came out of the control deck, I, I went into the boardroom, I looked at my advisors, and you know what I was going to say? I was going to say, you're done. You're toast. It's over with. Get you. That was the last straw. I'm done with your lies. And you want to know what? It turns out like half of them had like committed suicide right there in the office. And the other two or three, I forget, it, you know, it was it was a lot to, to process in that moment had quit completely. They their resignation letters had been sent to me like a million times before that. Uh, but you know, I'm a busy guy. I gotta pay t I gotta be here. So I, I got hooked up with some new advisors. They're good ones, I'm being told. And they really made me open my eyes. The truth is, things aren't going as bad as I had initially thought. We uh, needed some improvements just for the sake of progress, but there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. One thing that we gotta tackle they were telling me is that I got to start being more specific with these guys. They were doing an investigation, you could call it, and they, they came to me, they asked, so who was responsible for that explosion last mission? And I said to myself, well, Adrian Manslut. And they give me the weirdest look. They just look at me like, what? And I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing my best to recall. I say, Dr. Magic, Kevin Hart, Condom Von Slingen, and they're looking at each other like I'm crazy. And I'm like, I'm not crazy, but we got to change it up. We got to we gotta start analyzing these guys. That's what we got to do. I got my laundry in the other room. So while I wait for that, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be classifying these guys for their talents, for what they're good at, you could say. I need guys with good firing accuracy. Uh, uh, 10 soldiers or so is, is normal to bring with me. And it, now, now, I couldn't believe this when they told me. I basically found out that we can have tanks, like, not just, not, I'm not talking like an Abrams tank, like a big, fat World War II tank. Apparently, this entire time, they have been basically begging me to be uh, making these things, which are like mini micro mob boss bully alien tanks. And as soon as I heard about that, I'm like, why didn't you tell me about this? And, uh, you know, apparently that's another thing that I need to start answering my emails for. But the past is the past, and the, the best time is the present. So here we go. I'm, I'm buying up a good, healthy dose of uh, explosives. And everybody needs one of these. I'm going to get 10 or 12 of these. And these are dirt cheap. I'm just going to get a bunch of those, too. And that's going to be about a million dollars, but, you know, that's how we got to do it. Going to wait a couple of days for these things to arrive, and uh, we'll just see where it goes from there. Oh, here we go. Production of laser rifle at Cumland is complete. Oh, yeah. Time to get started, boys. Chop, chop. I'm going to be so rich. There we go. We got one scientist, uh, six engineers, and uh, some guys that need a serious renaming. You know, a name is a little bit like having long hair. You get to XCOM and I say, that's gotta go. That's not regulation. So we're gonna go with Rip Van Rectum, Mr. McDonald's, Grinny Eat. Jitter, Shane, Nipple Lips, Junior, Boy Blast, Adam Sandler, Tickle Taster. And it turns out that that's all the guys that we have so far. I have a feeling these guys will go from some random people I've never seen who agreed to this after all the press and become a friend, come out a friend. That's what I'm hoping for. All right, let's uh, let's start getting, let's get personal. Let's see who's good at what. Time to continue. 
That's not terrible. Damn, they're taking away a lot of my uh, income this month, though. kind of sucks, but that's the cost of business, you know. Sometimes cost of business is uh, half a million dollars or more. And uh, USA, UK, France, Germany, Italy, China, Japan. I'm not going to let them cramp my style just because, uh, you know, I'm risking termination. I got five million bucks, so, you know, it's like I can do whatever I want. They're still going to keep paying is what I realized. I can't let them shame me. Already we made uh, about $180,000, so that's pretty great. Oop, here comes a UFO. Let's uh let's get him. Let's intercept him. Here we go. Some aggressive attack. Okay, we're we're not dicking around here. Take that bitch. And it's really that easy if you think about it. I'm gonna wait a little bit and now we're gonna show them we mean business. Oh, oh wow. This is, uh, okay, I'm glad that it, everything was okay. Cool, good job, guys, good job. And look at that, we got the heavy laser completed. That is, that is so great. Let's get on that. A snake man, eh? We got some alien guns here. This is, great job, guys, great fucking job. I think we're gonna take it slow. I think we're gonna, everybody can start off here. And you other humps get to this one. Chop, chop. And I gotta ask what could possibly go wrong. What could ever, what could go wrong beyond this? Interesting. Got another bogey. Uh, they might be in Africa, and we might be in Bulgaria, I think? We These guys are, like, super fast, and they're going to get there, and they're going to catch them. It's aggressive attack again. Let's, let's show them what for. They're not going to... Yeah, there we go. That's how you teach them. We're going to head to that crash site, and we're going to show them what for. I hope this one goes as smooth as the last. All right, man. Now, I believe in all of you. This is not the time for mistakes from any of you. This might be your first rodeo, but hey, you're gonna knock them dead, fellas. So let's get them.